Entrepreneurs, welcome back to this channel. My name is Paul DePlissi, as you know me as the EMS guy. So in today's video series, we're talking about the topic of business plan. Now I'm doing it, it's not a big in-depth study, but we're doing a, a, a quite a, a overview of the topic. So there's seven videos covering a range of topics from the business functions, the concepts, the importance of a business plan, right up to the financial plan. So we covered that, most of the details in the business plan. Make sure you watch it. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and share with everyone. Okay, let's see you in the videos. All right, so we're in the fourth video of our series on business plans, and we're heading into business goals. Now, your goals is one of the most important aspects that you need to cover. Remember, you have a vision in your business, where you want to be in 10, 20 years. And the only way you're gonna get there is if you have short daily goals in order to reach medium term goals, in order to reach your vision. So let's say my vision for myself is when I turn 50, before I turn 50, I want to go to Hawaii, I want to be a world champion, or not even a world champion, I want to participate at the world champs at the Ironman event in Kona. So my short term or my medium term events would be I need to compete a few international um, Ironman events. Then my short term would be, which is, it can be a year. That can be I need to practice consistently, do a few road races, comrades maybe, half Ironmans, get my fitness, get my speed up to par. And then short term, which can be daily, is I need to run every day. I need to cycle every second or third day. I need to swim. They need to do conditioning. So all of that, I need to eat healthy. I need to get enough sleep. All of that plays a big part in if I'm going to achieve my vision or not. And that's why you need to set goals. If you don't set goals in life, chances are you will achieve them. And if you didn't set goals, you set nothing. So you're going to achieve nothing. So the saying is right. Um, if you aim for the stars, you might land on the moon. But if you um, uh, fail to plan, you're actually planning to fail. So let's look at the short term and long term goals. Short term for a business looks at you have to recruit staff. You have to, when will you start your production? When will you do your marketing activities? When will you open your business? That's important for people to know, right? In your business plan. Because you haven't started it. It's just an idea. So you need to have these proposed plans of action of when you're going to start. Long term is now you've, you've settled, you've got three to five years in your business. You might be in a place that's too small now. You might have outgrown your place. You need to have a new facility. You need to employ more staff members. You need to move uh, to a mall for a better location. You need to build your own place. So you need to build or buy more vehicles so you can do deliveries. So your business goals needs to be adapted and re-looked and revisited consistently. Next point we're talking about is your production plan. So this covers how you will produce your goods and services, where you will buy your raw materials and your materials. Now this is important. If I want to buy a watch, all right, and the watch needs to be of a certain quality. If I don't buy quality raw materials, then I can do what I want, but raw materials, if it's not quality, it's going to break. So my final product will break easily. So quality raw materials leads to a quality final product. So it's important that this must be decided in your business plan already, and that must be what you're going to stick to. All right, you're also going to look at what equipment and machinery you need to produce. You need to do a lot of research, see what is the best way to produce, what's the cheapest way, but also not cutting corners. And you need to know how you can manage this process then effectively. If you're going to produce watches or shoes or whatever, you need to know how to manage it. If you need to have a manager on site all the time, will you be on site? Are you going to run shifts? How are you going to manage that? Um, so that's all important parts of production. Then you need to look at your output. Remember, your input is everything you put in, your raw materials, your finances, your people. They all, it's almost like a funnel that you put in. And then the process is the production and that leads to your final product, your output. So your output needs to be flawless. And what I mean with that is you need to make sure that it's without flaws. Because the more flaws you have or uh, mistakes, the more it will cost you to remake them. And if you remake, that costs a lot of money. So make sure that your output 
is that the cheapest possible way because you're doing it right the first time. So uh, what should be in your production plan? Who's your possible suppliers? How will you receive the products? How will you store the raw materials? How will you do your quality control? What's the byproducts of your um, manufacturing? And how will you manage that? Next video, we're going to look at the marketing plan.